Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 4T here. Welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. Okay, so about the Eagles draft. I wouldn't say I'm mad, I'm just disappointed. Because there were picks that should have been made and that should not have been should made should have been made and should not have been made. Derek, I I don't like I get what people are high on Derek Barnett, but personally. I think he has the highest bust potential in this draft. Only above the two next two are Malik Hooker and Jabril Peppers. Like, I think Barnett could anywhere be from a great defensive end to Courtney Brown. He has a high, very, very low ceiling, and he has a high. He has the highest bust potential in the draft. But I, I just, I don't understand that decision. Like, I get it, but I don't get it at the same time. But I guess, um, I guess we'll find out. So that's, that, that's an interesting thing. So that's, um, yeah. So that's kind of what is unfortunate. But, um, yeah, so that, that, I don't, I think I, like I said, he, he's going to be a hit or miss. He's not good. There's no in-between with him. Either he's a big hit or he's a bust. Personally, I like my defensive end six foot five or above. And if I'm, gonna take a defensive end I'd rather take Taco Charlton because I think Charlton might be the best not being by and I think I'd be saying this even if he wasn't the Wolverine but he's honestly the best defensive end in this draft that's not named Miles Garrett that dude gonna be a beast that dude's gonna be a hoss I'm telling people that's the dude to watch out for because that dude's gonna be a major beast he has all the he has all the things. I've I've heard comparisons from anywhere from Justin Tuck to Chandler Jones. I personally think he's Jason Pierre Paul with both hands intact. We all know about the Jason Pierre Paul thing. If you don't, then I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, that's how I look at him. Yeah, that's what how I view his. I think that's his um. That's his uh freaking thing. And so yeah, that's how that's where my viewpoint of him is. It, but yes. Anyway, so he's a cowboy, but again, honestly, that was a good pick. I think like I said he's gonna be anywhere from I've heard Chandler Jones, I've heard <clears throat> I heard Julius Pepper somewhere, but that's a little bit of a reach person. Comparing him to Julius Peppers, come on. Like I said, like I said, in my personal opinion, he's Jason Pierre-Paul with both hands intact. That dude's gonna be a monster. I don't want to be. Like I said, I prefer my hands to be six foot five and above, and he's six six. That dude's an animal. Second pick is someone I'm high on, but let's get it. That it's that's a questionable one because. I don't feel like, he, like I'm here, like an Achilles injury is not something you toy with. That's not something you want to go toying around with, unfortunately. Cause that thing will, that an injury like that will wreck you very quickly. So yeah, that that type of injury um worries me. Yeah. Yeah, that that type of injury should always worry someone. And Achilles, oh man, that's that's like the one thing on the leg you really, really don't want to rupture. Yeah, that's the one thing you don't want to rupture. Cause man, if that tears, ah, oh, brother. Oh man. Yeah, that's yeah that that's a bad one. You don't want to tear that. You don't want to tear that, trust me. You tear that, you may as well tear the damn ACL while you're at it. That's the fun thing you don't want to tear. Oh, brother. Yeah, that's the one thing you don't want to tear. Oh, brother. Yeah, that's bad. But an Achilles injury is always... Sometimes you're the same player, sometimes you're not. Likely, he's likely not playing till the middle of the probably 
the first week of November. Which is which is the most likely thing, because it sounds like they're not going to rush him back, which isn't all bad. But, again, you never know, but I don't think they're going to rush him back. Which is a good thing. You don't want to rush that kind of injury. Because, like I said before, the Achilles is not something you want to go toying around with. Yeah. That's that that that's not that's not something you toy with. If you do toy around with it, you're gonna find yourself in big trouble, very very fast. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, um, oh sorry about the game now. Sorry. Anyway, now we're in Angry Aztec. Mm. I don't remember this is the one level I really butchered really badly, but. I'm gonna try and get it as much done. Oh, that's Diddy Kongs. I thought it was Donkey Kongs for some reason. More sense of his donkeys. You would think, would ya? Yeah, you would think. That would, that would, that would make more sense if it was Donkey Kongs. Yeah, that would make that one would make more sense if it was Donkey Kongs. Yeah, that that definitely seems that that's one where it seems like it would make more sense if it was Donkey Kong rather than Diddy Kongs. Well, yeah, I guess that's how it works. Anyway, so I'm getting his his thing. This is the music shop. I believe the first time she also gives you a melon, if I remember this game correctly. Like, oh, it's like a past memory about this game. My, when my brother and I play this, we I don't remember how if we ever beat the whole game. I think we attempted to and failed miserably. I think, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I think that was the one. That was the one right there. So, um, yeah, yeah. So that's what, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what, um, yeah. That's what. And that's the whole gist of that, but like I said, it's one of those things that you just never know. You, you just, you just, you, you never know what could happen. Yeah, that, that's the one injury you just, like, it's like I said before, you don't want to go messing with. Because an Achilles heel could really wreck you. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one injury you don't want to toy with. You don't toy with a torn Achilles. Otherwise, you're really in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, um... So that's, yeah. yeah so that's the one unfortunate thing, but... Yeah, I'm, the, I'm not... I'm worried about it, but... I think, I think, I like, I like Sidney Jones, but I just, I didn't like him there. I probably would have traded up and grabbed Joe Mixon or Dalvin Cook. No, no, wait, Cook went a few picks before us. So I definitely would have taken Joe Mixon if that was me. And they traded up and got, um, Sidney Jones again. Who might have been there next round, too, because the injury talk. The next pick, though, I really, I really like this pick. I love Rasul Douglas. I was high on him. That's, I think he's me better than Jones, personally. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one pick that's better than Jones, I think. Yeah, that, that's the one. That's the one I re I really like that pick, personally. That is a great pick. <sighs> what the hell is that? But yeah, I really like that pick. Yeah, that's a good. That's the. That's the one I really like. I think the the Mac the Hutton the wide receiver pick is good too. Yeah. Yeah, the wide the wide receiver pick was a good one too. I like that big body, big stuff. You can develop him behind Jeffrey and Smith, so that's a good thing. The next pick. Uh, we're gonna have a talk about the next pick. We're gonna have a talk about that pick. We're gonna have a talk about Dunout Pumphrey. 
Personally, I think he's not that good. I think he'll be out of the NFL in a few years. I just... I don't like his size. His size bothers me. Yeah, his size bo That's a size... His size bothers me a little bit. I, I wish he was a little bit bigger. I'd be totally on board if he was, like, freaking six foot. But we need a power back. We need a, we need a, we need a freaking back that's gonna run people over. We don't have that on this roster. Ryan Matthews is cut the moment he's healthy. Yeah, Ryan Matthews is kind of, he's, he's cut the moment he passes the physical. Because that's really the only holdup with him. Yeah, that, that's really the only holdup with him. Yeah, so that, that's the, I think that's, that's the only thing they're waiting for. Is they're waiting for him to pass that physical. And then they cut him. You can't cut an injured player because CBA. You can't cut you can't you can't cut him because you know CBA. Yeah, freaking damn CBA. Can't freaking cut him because of that. That, that. That's just how it works. Yeah, that's just that's how it works. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing. That's how that works. And that's just, don't ask. But Matt, Ryan Matthews is gone because we gotta make moves to cut picks, and it sounds like Kendricks is here to stay. Not that I'm a big fan of Michael Kendricks, but it sounds like he's he's not bad. But I could definitely think of better players. I could definitely think of better players in that spot. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely think of better players in that spot, but, you know, that's me. But, yeah, it sounds like he's here to stay. Yeah, that's what I'll say. I don't think... And we could have grabbed Wayne Gallman, and Gallman's freaking Marshawn Lynch 2.0. That dude's beast mode. I watched some of his tape, and that dude runs like a wrecking ball. Which is exactly what we needed. I, I don't mind the uptightness. I want him to run like that. I want him to run forward. I want him to run like beast mode. Because that's what I compare him to. DeMarco Murray is another nice comparison for Wayne Gallman. Remember, this recorded on April 30th, so keep that in mind. But that, that pick does disappoint me a little bit. Because I feel like there were better players on the board at that position. But I'm glad all the other, but the other mediocre players got grabbed up too. I'm glad. Because now the Eagles don't have to take them. So, yeah, I was going to say, some players I was glad, like, oh, you know what? You can have him. Everyone kept saying he wanted, they wanted Samaj P. Ryan. I'm like, that dude's Matt Asiata. Matt Asiata ain't that good. We needed a number one and didn't get it. This committee stuff, it doesn't work if unless you're, all the running backs are different and or good. And are good. Not to mention the good part of being good at what they do. Unfortunately, we have a bunch of low-end number twos. And twos, and Matthews is gone. Basically. I wouldn't even entertain bringing him back. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even look at the thought. We'll grab this banana right here. So that's our first golden banana the level. It took us long enough to get all that. Now that took us long. Ow! I will hurt you. That's Tiny's. I thought that was Diddy Collins for a small second. I thought that was his golden nanner. Nanner. Blab. Nanner balloon. Sorry. Cannot pronounce the words. So Tiny is freed. So we got another Kong to help out. I'd like them all free ASAP. I would like those guys all freed ASAP. So that that would be good. We can get those all freed. Nice, like something lanky. Yeah, that's lanky associated. So, yeah, if I remember this game correctly. Which I do! I remember that that stuff's lanky. Anyway, this has been Dark Kirby 14. We'll see you next time on Donkey Kong 64.